oh, 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 okay, this one asks, Stephen A., why is it when Obama was in office, you had all this negative stuff to say about black people and black athletes? But now that Trump is in office, you on team black NFL player, team black NBA player. Okay, put the camera on me. Put the damn camera on me. It was my job at that time to shit on black players. It became my job after being expeditiously reprimanded by my lovely colleague, Michelle Beadle. And again, Michelle, I thank you for playing the role of white girl in distress to put me in my place. I thank you for that. I needed to be embarrassed like that. It was my job at that time to fall in line because I feared for my job. And it would be utterly, zestfully, bagatromical for me to go against my employer, the number one news station. So here's one, here's one. Stephen A., why did you agree with Charles Barkley telling black people to kiss your ass about police brutality? But when the Philadelphia Eagles turned down their visit to the White House because of their support of the anti-police brutality protest, you support them. You come out denouncing paid patriotism and so forth. Let me say this. Let me say this. I, 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 I do remember telling black people that I agree with Charles Barkley. Systemic anti-black strong arming by our government was not the cause of black on black crime and was a tired excuse for black on black crime. And I'm a New Yorker. Me and Max Kellerman, we are New Yorkers. And in New York, we have something called pulling a New York City. You know, when someone says, hey, hey, you look over there. And you look over there and there's nothing over there. That's called pulling a New York City, a distraction. Look it up. So when I gratuitously throw the black community under the bus, it's kind of like saying, hey, black people, got your nose. I was just fooling around. And it's my job to slide back into the good graces of black people or whoever has the most social cover on an issue at any particular time. It's my job to be an opportunist. And it would be diuretically homoerostical to act like that is not the case for many and most reporters. <laughs>